Hello, hello. Happy, happy Monday. We're doing something a little bit different today, which is exciting. So bear with me while I get everything set up. I actually have, I've got two cameras running today. So we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> you won't be able to see both of yous, but um, we're gonna be working on the saw blade and then right above me, I have my overhead camera so that I can record it from over the top and then do a sped up version. At least that's the idea today. Good morning, mom. Good morning, Deanna. How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're using the saw blade today. So before, if you remember, this used to hang up on the wall above my head and it had the whole be humble, be kind. So on this side, we're going to do the nativity scene, which I think is gonna be really, really neat. And I have pieces of tape on my, um, on my table to help me stay in line with my overhead camera. So hopefully, in theory, this should work. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Jackie. Okay, so here's the transfer. This is the nativity scene transfer. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna be a two-part project. All of our little, um, figurines will go on the saw blade and then the Isaiah 9 6 is going to go on a wood board and then I can hang them with either on top or on bottom together. What do we think? Do we like this idea? Because that's what we're doing. So let me just, you're going to see me kind of stop and start a little bit so that I have break points when I edit my video and we're going to cut this apart here. I think this is going to be pretty cute. So I'm going to do all of our, um, our, our three wise men, Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus, um, and all of our little animals. They're all going to be in white on our um, saw blade. And then I'm going to do the Bible verse in black on the wood. Do you like it? Oh, good. I'm glad you like it, Jerrica. This is, I think this is going to be really fun. I am going to do the star in yellow so that's the only thing that's going to be different and I may or may not add sparkles to that we'll see <laughs> I haven't decided yet so I'm going to cut all these pieces out and I'm going to lay them all down and I'm sorry for those of you who are new my name is Beth Stamp I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture and you have made your way to the Chalk Club this morning um, the Chalk Club is a place where you do not have to be an expert crafter to make beautiful things for your home I am by no means an expert crafter but I can chalk, <laughs> and so can you. It's not hard. So we're going to just cut all these pieces out and then we'll decide how we wanna lay them out, make sure everything fits the way I'm thinking it will. Looks like you guys like this one, so this is gonna be good. So if this is the first time you're watching me, please put a number one in the comments so I can welcome you. And if you've seen me before, it's a number two. If you're a member of my team, the Chalk Club team, it's a number three. And if you are another a designer on another team and just looking for inspiration, put a number four. I just like to welcome everybody. I like to know who's here watching. Okay, so the camel, our wise man on the camel, he's gonna have to be over here because that's the biggest piece that we have. And I know I'm gonna have to put, I'm gonna put the donkey here and we're probably gonna have to peel dry a little bit before we put the next layer down just because the transfer, the, um, the excess part of the transfers here, I mean, they're gonna have to be really close together. So everybody's gonna be real cozy on this saw blade this morning. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's see, we're going to put, I've got a camel, I've got a sheep and a lamb. They need to go, mama and baby need to go together. Get that over there. I've got Mary and Joseph, uh, and baby Jesus will go obviously in between them. And we'll put our star up here. And then I've got a wise man over here. Oh, and I've got more wise men. So I've got to figure out how I'm gonna make everybody fit. This camel, I think, will fit. We're gonna have, so I'm, I'm right now, I'm just kind of stacking everything. This may all have to shift down there. So we're just gonna start with the camel. And we'll make it work, because that's what we do. We always make it work, right? So let's start with the camel. So we want to get our, we got our fuzzing cloth here and we're gonna fuzz so to prep this surface because this is a reclaimed surface it's an old saw blade that I got at the junk shop in Avon 
Um, I did wipe it down with a paper towel, a wet paper towel, make sure it was nice and dry. And back that camel right up to the edge there. Let's see if we can get him straight on. Okay, so I'm using the bottom of the transfer to kind of line up his feet. And, um, so, and then I used a little bit of wax on this surface since it's not a chalkboard. I wanted to make sure that we didn't have any, um, I don't want it, any particles to stick to the transfer because I'd like to use it again. These transfers are reusable um, eight to 10 times when you take good care of them. And I'm just using white chalkology paste. You want it to be uh, the consistency of Greek yogurt. And we'll see how this is. This feels a little thick, but I think it'll work. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna make it work. We're gonna do our first wise man on a camel. Hopefully, because if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to change the project because I'm gonna have to sand it off. Um, so I don't think it'll come off nicely. I know you know on chalkboards, chalk paste comes off pretty easily. When you use other surfaces, not so much. Okay. So put that right there, and there's our first wise man. Can you see him on there? I'll lift it up um, periodically as we do. A little bit more. What do you think so far? What do you think so far? Welcome, welcome everybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow dry these in between because I need them to dry because I'm gonna have to, I don't want to lay a sticky stencil on top of something that's wet. So, so far, I think this is gonna, it's gonna look pretty good. So, we got our next wise man here. Got our, we're gonna fuzz him. And fuzzing just picks up a little bit of lint from the towel so that your transfer isn't so sticky. And you wanna test the stickiness before you fuzz. It's not, it's not a guarantee, right? I mean, you just, you have to, you have to do your homework and make sure it's not, you know, you don't want to remove all the stick. That would be bad. Okay. So let's try to line up the bottom of the wise man with the bottom of the camel's feet. And that's the beauty of having this overhead camera. When I go to edit this, it'll be like by the time I'm done editing it, this whole project will be like two minutes. <laughs> and I know a lot of you like that better than the, um, the longer ones, but... Hopefully it'll it'll look good. It'll look good on Instagram. Because nobody has an attention span on Instagram. It's just scroll, 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 right? Okay. There's wise man number two. And I'm just hanging these off the edge of my table right now. I am I am gonna have to wipe my nose though because as you guys know, every time I go live, every time I always have a runny nose. I don't know. Okay, so there's wise man number two. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far, I think. So far, we'll see. Got a lot of little pieces on this one. And this feels pretty dry. This, um, I fuzzed the last one and it wasn't quite as sticky as I want it to be for this surface, so I'm not I'm gonna try not fuzzing this one and just see how it goes. You know me, I'm a rebel. Not fuzzing my transfers. <laughs> okay, a little more, a little more paste. And it it does not take much paste. You can see I put just like the tiniest bit on and and gently and always peel like extra slow extra gentle if you're overlapping on transfer on um, paste because you just if you rip it off you don't want to rip it like a band-aid we all know what happens that hurts if you rip this like a band-aid you could rip off some of the chalk now we can fix it but I I would say uh, don't do that 
Tammy says, two, working on three. Tammy, I can't wait till you're on the team. It'll be so much fun. It will be so much fun. All right, so let's see how we're doing with the placement. We've got Joseph and Mary, and I'll probably do those first and then put baby Jesus down. I might put baby Jesus down first and then put Mary and Joseph. We shall see. And I'm going to, so when I hang this, I want the, the bottom of the blade to be straight. So I'm trying to, trying to stay, keep it straight. Keep it straight. All right, and then we got our star that will go there. And then we've got, oh, I've got another wise man over here. So he'll overlap a little. And then I've got Mary's donkey and then the sheep and the lamb. That should be pretty good. Maybe I'll give them a little more space. A little bit more. What do we think? Do we like it? Okay. Let's keep going. All right, let's do, we're going to do Joseph first. Get him on here. And I'm just giving, I'm going to give him a little space away from these wise men. They're here to worship, not crowd them. They just had a baby for crying out loud. Give them some space. Okay, so if this is the first time you're watching, please put a number one in the comments so I can welcome you. And if you're watching for the second, third, fourth, or 50th time, you can put a number two in the comments. And if you are watching, if you're a member of my team, it's a number three. And then if you are not on my team, but you're a designer, it's number four. We're just gonna be doing a lot of little pieces <laughs> as we go through this, it's piece after piece. Good morning, Amy, how are you? How are you, how are you? Let's see if we can get, give them a little space. Okay, good. And I am gonna switch my squeegee. I can see it's getting, the chalk paste on the squeegee is starting to dry a little bit, so I'm gonna get a little, I may have to add some distilled water to this. I'm not sure yet, because my I'm leaving the lid off for quite a while. Squeegee on, squeegee off. So I'm feeling very accomplished this morning, and I'll tell you why. I got up at 5.45. Um, Monday is my husband's kind of early day at work. He has to be in there at 6, um, which means I've got to get all the kids to all their three different schools on time. <laughs> and it's a little challenging to get everybody ready and out the door. So we did that first. We were very successful at that. And, oh, no, your kids have a two-hour delay. Oh, shoot. I hate two hour delays. I hate any delay or when they cancel school altogether. Makes it very hard to chalk in the morning when that happens. <laughs> very, very hard. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. Okay, let's see if we can get Mr. Baby Jesus here. All situated. And the, so the transfers, I know you, it's hard to see, but when I lay this down on this dark background, I can see through it enough to kind of line it up with what's happening underneath. Um, and just trying to, hopefully it's not too crooked. I don't want it to be crooked. I think it'll be okay. I keep lining it up with the, with the bottom. So who knows? <laughs> it may or may not work. All right. Okay, so yeah, so I got the kids, all of them got on the bus, everybody was on time, um, minimal, minimal fighting amongst them this morning, which was good, and got the first one on the bus at 7.30, got um, the second one on the bus at, gosh, what time did you get on the bus this morning? 8.15, and then I ran like five errands between 8.15 and 9.00 to get before Noah had to go to school. What do we think so far? Do we like it? I promise I'll lift it all up when it's done. 
but I don't want to lose the placement for my overhead camera. <laughs> oh gosh, goodness, goodness. How is your Monday going so far? Are we on track? Are we behind schedule? <laughs> Mondays are hit or miss, you know, I know this. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna switch over to, I want this star to be as centered as I can get it over baby Jesus and line it up there. I think we're gonna go with that. So I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna use the color daffodil to do my star. I thought about using the glitter, um, the gold glitter, but honestly, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dark. And since I'm using a dark background, I was worried it wouldn't show up. Now we can always add glitter later and get the paste off of this that I'm flinging all over, but I don't know, we'll see. Get all this excess off. You need like hardly anything. We're not even, we're hardly using anything of this today. And so I'm feeling very accomplished. Just my, my whole point is that I got all that stuff done this morning. Okay. All right. So, so far so good. I'm, I'm liking the way this is turning out. Got our next piece is our little wise man with our shepherd's hook. It snowed in Wyoming this morning. Yucky. Yuck. <laughs> no thanks. It's supposed to snow here tomorrow for like our first snow. And I'm not really looking forward to that. But we'll see. I don't know. Sometimes they're not. Well, you guys know this. The weather people are not always super accurate, especially if you live in a snow zone. <laughs> you never know. I mean, they're calling for like a little bit of snow in the morning. Um, which in my school district means they'll probably just cancel school, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, or have a two hour delay like Amy. Um, but we're, we're gonna hope that that's not the case. We're gonna hope, we're gonna hope. Now, so I'm using this surface today, grief my nose. Okay, so this surface is obviously a reclaimed surface. You can, obviously, you can do this on a chalkboard um, and it would look fantastic. So, you know, however you wanna do it, there's no wrong way to chalk is the point. Okay, so I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna put my donkey down here. And I feel like everything's crooked, but I'm not, let me just see. I think it's gonna be fine. And then we'll lay our lamb and our sheep down. I think I bunched everything up a little bit too much on this end, but oh well, oh well, it will be fine. So we may, I don't know, maybe we can put some other little like design on the end down here. Maybe I could get two sheep on there. Maybe that's what I'll do. I think I'll put two sheep. And then mama sheep can have daddy sheep on there. Let me make sure this is looking pretty straight. Okay, so I laid all those down. Now let's get the rest of these chalked. Oh, it's snowing. Patty, where are you? Where are you that it's snowing? All right, see, I'm a desert girl. I'm originally from Arizona, for those of you who don't know. So I think in the 30 some odd years that I lived in Arizona, it snowed twice where I lived. And I mean, that's pretty, pretty rare to have, you know, snow in the desert, but it does happen. Um, I can remember I was staying when I was young, I was probably, I don't know, probably nine or 10. And I was staying with my grandma in Phoenix and my mom came, she was, it was so awesome because we had gotten snow while I was in Phoenix and we just lived like 45 minutes north of Phoenix, um, give or take. And my mom came and actually picked us up. Um, from my grandma's house like super early in the morning so that we could see the snow. Okay, get all that off. It was awesome. We built like this cute little pseudo snowman. I mean, compared to Connecticut winters, right? Like there was probably two inches of snow on the ground, but we built a snowman. I think we played outside all day in that snow. It was awesome. It's really cool to see. Um, I'm gonna put another baby sheep down there. Um, our lamb and it, it's really cool to see snow on top of cactus that's really cool now we're gonna use that sheep here we go i'm gonna use our sheep again 
since I don't think I'm going to need to wash that. Okay, we're almost done with this part, and then we're going to do the sign that has the Bible verse on it. So don't forget to share the video. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do the 10K giveaway and have it be fair. I haven't figured that out yet. Okay, let's dry these, and then we'll put one more little lamb down. Just a teeny tiny little lamb. And here's my squeegee. Last little bit. Okay. Pull that off. Scrape it back in the jar. And voila. Okay. So there's our saw blade, and I will hold that up for us in just a second. And give my camera a chance to focus on that. Okay, here's our saw blade with the whole nativity scene on it. And we'll, I'm going to do it like that. I'll hold it up. I, obviously over here, there's like a big hole. I guess I could put a third lamb there, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think we'll just let it be. We'll just let it be the way it is. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our sign. So this is the second part of the transfer. It's the Bible verse that goes along with it. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Yeah, Liz, I'm in Connecticut. I'm in Avon. Where are you? Are you in Connecticut? We could get together to chalk. Ah, everything's falling. <laughs> We're gonna use a nine by 12 um, box frame. I love these, I mean, just so classic wood sign style. Um, and I'm going to, I'm gonna do a different orientation. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this way instead of this way. So we're gonna have to get a little bit creative with the placement because it's just big enough to not quite fit in there. I mean, I could, you know what, maybe I'll just do it this way because it would fit better. Nope, I wanna do it the way I wanna do it. <laughs> oh goodness, okay, so let's get all this stuff out of the way. We'll set up our placement for this part of the video the overhead. So for those of you just joining, I have a camera up overhead that's recording so that I can do a sped version of this. And there goes the sign. <laughs> it's hot mess morning. <laughs> oh, you're from Waterbury and you live in Florida? Man, I'd love to live in Florida. <laughs> All right. So here's our... Okay. So what I want it to do, and I'm just going to kind of play with the placement a little bit first. I want to have it line up with the bottom here, the bottom of the Bible verse. And then I think what we'll do if that lines up, just scoot it over a little bit more. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Kind of see what I'm doing? Um, you can go back and watch the sped up version later. <laughs> it'll, it'll be probably like two or three minutes long because I edit out all this chit chat. Nobody wants to hear the chit chat on the sped up ones. Okay, so Father, the Prince of Peace, so we will, okay, so we're gonna just see how that goes. Let's put that down. And we're gonna do this in black. So we're, I'm just making it fit right now. And then I'm gonna take, and then the Isaiah part, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna fold. Well, I'm gonna chalk this part first and then dry it, and then I'm gonna come back and do the Isaiah part. I'm so sorry about my nose today. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Probably need some cold medicine. Noah's been coughing. Ugh. I can't win with these kids right now. They all go to school. They all bring home their little friends, little grimy germs. Right? <laughs> uh, okay, so you take your time. Make sure, because I'm folding this, right? So the, the transfer is like, what are you doing? So you want to make sure that you really get this on. And I want to that straight it's not even straight so we can't we can't do it <laughs> we can't, I can't that will look super weird and we're gonna line it up I gotta make it work there that'll be better hopefully hopefully our transfer will be less 
irritated with us for trying to make this work. Once again, so we want to make sure this is down nice and tight. I'm going to push all the air bubbles out. I don't want any bleeding under these words. And we're going to take our time and make some beautiful chalk words here. And I used wax on this board too. So that's why I'm really taking my time to make sure it sticks really, really well. And I won't be doing, when I eventually like get to the top here, I won't be doing this little embellishment. We're gonna do, we're just gonna leave it off. Let me make sure that's straight. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> we're getting there. I'm gonna go take my time, get in there. And when I'm chalking, I had someone message me and ask, like, I don't put, you don't have to put a lot of pressure on this. It's silk screen, so it wants to go through the silk screen. So you just, I just use a very light hand on this. You don't have to push too hard. Okay. This, I think, is going to look so good. And the other thing to remind you, too, since these transfers are reusable, you just wash them in this, I wash them in the sink or in a little like plastic tub that I got at the dollar store. Um, and remember that, you know, these pastes, these chalk pastes are pigmented. So don't be surprised if the teal part of your transfer gets stained at all. So that's normal. Okay, let's see how we did. Oh, that looks good. Look at, doesn't that look good? Look how crisp our letters are. Man, I love this product. I love it, I love it, I love it. I used to use my Cricut, I used to do weeding. I don't do any of that anymore. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe my hands off, my other one. And then we're gonna go back. I'm letting this dry a little bit too, without the blow dryer for a minute. What do you guys think so far? Do you get the gist of what I'm trying to do with my whole, design. Let me move this out of the way. Hmm, I wonder what I could put on that. The more I look at that blade, the more I see that big open spot. Once again, I'm just making sure that it's dry because I'm going to have to put, I'm going to have to lay this, sort of lay it down again on here, just the Isaiah part, um, if I can, just do that part. And I'm using this as kind of a guide to, I think that is pretty straight. That's what we're doing. So if it's a little crooked, it's a little crooked. It's still gonna look good. Ah, I did not take my time and make sure that was down flat. Okay. And it still worked. Here we go. So let's put the whole thing together here so you can see. Hang this on the side of the table. Stick, stay there. I get the paste off my fingers. Okay, so here we have, here's our nativity scene on the chalkboard, and here's our little sign that will go underneath it. What do you guys think? Should I put another lamb on there? <laughs> Should we have three lambs? I think we might need to, because I think it looks a little funky with that spot. You tell me if I need another lamb. Do you love it? How easy is that? I mean, guys, this is not hard. It's really not. And you can use almost any surface. You like it, you like it? All right, put the word lamb in the comments if you think I should add one more lamb. Or no lamb. 
You want three lambs, Patty? One vote for three lambs. What else? Okay, let me, I'm gonna set this. I gotta kind of stage this real quick so I can finish that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see that on my camera overhead. I might be. Let's see. Okay, we'll stage that for one hot second. It's probably not in the right frame. Lamb, 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 everybody wants lamb. Okay, let's do another lamb. So let me show you what you do. So let, So we're using this. Um, except now I don't know what I did. Oh, here it is. So normally I would just wash this in the sink, but obviously I'm at the table right now, so I can't do that. So I'm gonna use water. And I put the towel with water on it. I, yesterday I used a board eraser. Um, I, the board eraser is now in the bucket for cleaning the transfers, so I don't have that over here. I'm just gonna use this real quick to get the, the most important part is not really cleaning the transfer um, for this. I mean, you wanna clean it when you're done, but it's making sure that the transfer is clear so you can see through it. That's the important part. Okay, we'll put one more lamb on here. People watching on Sped Up are gonna be like, what is this chick doing? Can't make up her mind. I'm like, well, get used to it. because That's how we roll. We change it as we go. This mama lamb had triplets. So we're doing triplets. Oh, here's another. So I'm gonna use a multi-tool for this because it's tiny and it won't take much to make it work. Okay. And three lambs. Okay, I like it better. Good job. Good, good call, everybody. Good call. Put that over here. I'll hold it up one more time and then we're calling it a day. Okay, here we go. What do you guys think? Ah, so there's our saw and our nativity scene. So it'll kind of, I'll lean it like that. And then I'm gonna put the, either the verse will go above or below. I'm not sure yet. So let me know what you think. Um, if this is something that you wanna try, you can comment, try it. I have some cute little mini kits available in my customer group, The Insiders. Um, and if you're not a member, comment insider so you can see what we have going on in there. And I will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern with another project. So have a great day, everybody. Ah.